let me get a word in at last. There's him blithering about his blessed cave when all you want to hear about is cheddar cheese. It's the world's best-selling cheese, and it was invented right here in Cheddar more than a thousand years ago. By Elizabethan times, it was famous throughout the land for its taste, and it travelled well because it didn't go off. All the local farms had a dairy, and they all used to club together so that each day the old village would make one enormous cheese, sometimes weighing over a hundred pounds, fifty kilograms you call it today. It's made by a special process called cheddaring, my dears. You put rennet in the milk so the curds form, then scald the curds twice, then keep chopping up and pounding before you press it into shape and wrap it up. Then you turn the cheese out to ripen for a few months. That way, you end up with a very solid cheese with a good, strong flavour, and it keeps for ages. But where to ripen it? You'll have heard of Roquefort cheese from France that they make from ewe's milk and store in limestone caves. Oh, there's all sorts of cheeses made in caves. So when my Richard saw this little cavern, we thought, well, why not? There's a constant temperature, you see, 11 degrees Celsius, just right for cheese. We put them on wooden racks. Trouble is, we couldn't keep the rats away. And that's why you'll have to go down the shops for your little bit of cheddar now instead of getting it right here. Shame that. People do say it is made all over the world now, but take this. <laughs>